What's up guys, my name is Hans Sorters and today we're doing part 4 of learning how to longboard which is a series in which I teach you guys how to longboard from the very basics in the first video to a more and more advanced level throughout the videos Today I'm super excited because we can actually start learning some dance steps uh, because in the first 3 videos we talked about the very basics of longboarding, fundamentals of dancing and learning tricks and steps so now we have a big fundamental and uh, we can actually start learning some steps so I'm super excited about that uh, we're gonna start with the very basic steps and then in the next video we can go to a more and more advanced level of course but as I said today very very basic steps of longboarding so first off we're gonna do the cross step uh, which is probably the most popular step of longboard dancing and the step that's mostly done alright so we're gonna break the trick down into simple steps as always uh, so we're gonna go over the simple steps you have to do so if we take a look at my feet uh, we're gonna start off with a long toe side carve in that direction then the first thing we're gonna do is put our front foot to the back next to our back foot and we're gonna put it on the heel side edge so that we start making a heel side carve now that we start making a heel side carve our back foot goes over our front foot still in a heel side carve so that's why we started with a long toe sides carve in the beginning so we have room to make this carve and now the third step is to put this foot back in the front of the board we can go into a toe side carve again and we can finish it off in the same position as we started so uh, those are really simple steps when you see them on video but they take a lot of practice actually uh, because you have to get used to yeah, like I said in part two, you have to get used to being in a position that you're not usually in on the longboards. Uh, and you have to stand on one foot a lot of the times. And yeah, especially with the last step, that's a hard one for a lot of people because we're not used to standing on our back foot uh, because we push with our front foot. So we're not used to that. Uh, so it takes a lot of practice. But once you can get this down, this is a really fun trick. Okay, so we broke the trick down into pieces. I'm gonna give you some tips now. Uh, like I said, you really wanna start with a long toe sides carve. Also, uh, you really wanna keep, keep your arms out, especially when you're starting to learn how to do it. There's nothing wrong with it, so you can keep your arms out, swing them out so you have extra balance. You also want to go to your knees a bit, uh, because with straight legs, you always have less balance. Uh, then when you go into the carve, you want to shift your body weight to your heel side edge and your board will just follow you because you're actually making the carve so it's normal that your body weight is shifting to that side uh, you want to be stable uh, you can test it out by like standing on the one foot and then shifting it over and now testing when you're balanced putting that one back to the front but you don't want to like stay waiting 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 and then go for it and then wait 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 you want to make it in like one flow and it will become more natural even though it will be hard at first also if you have a shorter board a couple of tips in the beginning of the trick uh, you want to put your front foot really close to your back foot uh, so that you still have a lot of room over there you also want to put your back foot all the way back as much back as possible so now you have maximum room over here you can do a cross step and as you can see there will be plenty of space to do the cross step, so you'll be all right. All right, the next step, we're gonna do the 180 step. This one is actually easier than the cross step. At least for me, it was way easier uh, because the cross step actually took me uh, quite a while. But the 180 step is a really pretty easy one to learn. and. It's probably the most basic one of this video and of longboarding in general. So for the 180 step, we're gonna start with a heel side carve this time. We're standing in our normal position, just chilling. Now we're making a heel side carve in that direction. Now we're gonna put our front foot on the other side of the board with our foot parallel with the length of the board. While we do this, our body will actually start making a 180 already. Then we shift our body weight to this foot so that this one is just in the air chilling right here. This foot will go around and you will finish the 180 of the 180 step. So once again, 
over here, making a heel side carve. Her front foot goes over here. Then we find her balance. We shift her weight to this foot. This one goes around and we finish the 180. And you can use the momentum of your shoulders to just start that 180 and just finish it once you did that step. Okay, so that was the 180 step. As you can see, it's pretty basic. It's more basic than the cross step, but you will notice that you will be in a lot of other dance steps um, that will be built by these first three steps that I'm teaching you right now. So the third one is a switch 180 step. So it's actually quite the same as a normal 180 step, but it's totally different to do because now you're doing it from a switch position. Switch. <laughs> You're doing it from a switch position. So right now uh, it's totally different step, but this one is also in a lot of other dance steps. So switch 180 step, I really recommend you teach uh, you learning this one first, uh, because then you will be more comfortable learning other steps and it will be way easier. Okay, so when we take a look at my feet right now, now standing in switch, so yeah, get over there. Okay, so we're riding switch now. What we're gonna do is actually the same. So this foot goes to that place over now parallel with the length of the boards. Then we're gonna start the 90 degrees turn and we're gonna finish that movement in one smooth movement by finishing the 180. Our feet can go back. And now you wanna like end it with a toe side carve again uh, because it's way more smooth. And then you did like one beautiful, beautiful carve. Um, yeah, I like that. Thanks, Yella. So, switch 180 step. Now you might be thinking like, ah, I don't want to learn a switch step already. But like I said, first of all, this step is like in a lot of other steps, as you will see. And also, it's just very smooth to do like a 180 step to a switch 180 step to 180 step. That combo looks super smooth. I really love that. And there are actually a lot of prolonged warders who even do that simple step repeatedly. <laughs> so, you will already be able to do a lot of steps and for the first step you have a big advantage. Step number four is a Peter Pan. This is a super fun one, not only the name is fun but it's also one of my favorite dancing steps. So, Peter Pan is actually a combo of the cross step, the 180 step and the switch 180 step. So when you learn those three steps you can like, it's really easy for you to learn this Peter Pan and you will find that you're you have a big advantage. So we're gonna break it down like we always do. Uh, yellow, move your ass. Okay, so Peter Pan, we're standing in a normal position. We're gonna start off like we do a 180 step. So our front foot goes to the sides, like we do when we do a 180 step. Now, we're body is gonna turn 90 degrees already too. But instead of finishing it, we're gonna put our back foot over our front foot into a cross step position. Now we're gonna switch from a card in this direction to a card in that direction while we do that. So right now we're making a card in this direction. Our foot is gonna swing around again. And now you will find that big advantage of being able to do a switch 180 step because this is the hardest part of your pen. Now to finish it off. So this is mostly an easy part because once again, you're used to standing on this foot. Then this foot goes over and you shift to a carve in your left direction if you're goofy, your right direction if you're regular. Now we're gonna finish it off. And this last step is the hardest part for most people because they haven't learned how to stand on this foot yet uh, because they didn't do the cross step or didn't do the 180 step. Um, but once you can do those two, it's really easy because you're just finishing off a switch 180 step. Why I really love the Peter Pan is because you can just keep on doing it. And once you, once you learn how to do it, like I just explained with the three steps, you can make it four steps so that you're finishing it off and switch. That will be already a challenge. 
Uh, if you have learned how to do that, you can make it five, six, and then you can just try to do it as long as you can. And I really love doing that. And I remember when I started trying this trick, I really enjoyed just to do Peter Pans and just do them as much as possible. Okay, another tip uh, if you're trying to do the Peter Pan, uh, if you want to do it repeatedly, you want to start really at the back of the board so you have plenty of space. Because when you do that, um, when you do the Peter Pan repeatedly, you'll find yourself stepping forward. Um, so you want as much room as possible. Also, uh, if you really want to do it repeatedly, you can just start in the middle of the board because that's the ideal place to do it. And you want to swing around and then shift it a bit and then shift it a bit so at the very end right before you set it down you make a little jump and then you can really just keep on doing it uh, because you won't move forward anymore Alright, so for the fifth step, uh, we're gonna do a combination of all the previous steps right now. And this will show you that even with some basic steps, you can already do a lot of dancing combos and etc. Uh, so we're gonna do a cross step over or a cross step to Peter Pan or cross pan. What would you call it? Cross step to Peter Pan. Cross step to Peter Pan is from now on the official name. Once again, for the last time today, we're gonna break it down. So, uh, first off, we're gonna start like we start with a cross step. So we shift our back foot, our front foot back, and we're going into a cross step. Now, instead of finishing it, uh, we're going to go to a Peter Pan. And now we're gonna go just like we are. Now we're standing just like we stand in the second step of Peter Pan. So this foot is swinging, it goes around. And you can finish the Peter Pan like we discussed it in, like I... Like he said in the Peter Pan tutorial. Thanks, Yella, for contributing. Okay, so what you want to pay attention to is that you start your cross step, uh, not with your foot like this. You really want to put it on the edge and you already want to like pivot it just a bit. And also this one, especially this foot, and then you have space to do Peter Pan over it. If you started like this, then this foot will also go like this. And now you can do a Peter Pan, of course, which is quite obvious. Uh, but it's really tough to like do this right when you're actually dancing on the board. Uh, so that's why I give you the tip. Other than that, it's just up to you to get creative with it. Uh, they're like already with this, there are like hundreds of dance steps and dance combos you can come up with. Uh, so make it your own, get creative, have fun. Most of all, just have fun with it. Uh, and you will find out that you can, you can already dance a lot with these steps. Um, so maybe some combos right now. Go. as always uh, I really appreciate all the stoke I've been getting lately it's crazy really like subscribe if you're new to the channel if you are trying to learn how to longboard because I'm gonna make more of these videos so then you'll be sure to receive them in your subscriptions uh, because right now we start with the basics next up we can go medium dance steps then we can go advanced dance steps I got a lot of combos I want to teach you guys so really make sure you subscribe for all the goodness and I will see you guys in the next one. Ciao. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yep.
Mm. Ja, eigentlich. Okay, danke. Okay, so, <laughs> fuck off. Bring it from a Swiss position. Switch. A Swiss position? Doing it from a Swiss position. Fuck off. Yeah, do it. Okay, and now, all right, so now for the five. For the five? For the five? For the five? Hello, folks. It's a beautiful day today. Because of. Oh, this is a. It's a lot. What the fuck is that, Brad? No. <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha! Yes! <laughs> <laughs> 